This video is brought to you by Ultium 365 where the world designs electronics and Octobot, the world's fastest component search engine for electronic parts. In today's episode, you will learn how to measure the distance using Arduino Nano, the waterproof ultrasonic sensor JSNSR040 and an I2C supported SSD1306 or LED display module. Don't worry if you see AJSR04 imprinted on the module, JSNSR040 and AJSR04M are exactly the same. The only difference is that the AJSR04M has an empty location for a resistor and the JSNSR040 doesn't have it. The amazing thing about this ultrasonic sensor is that it comes with a long wire due to which it can be easily installed. Instead of using the Arduino Nano, you can also use Arduino Uno, Arduino Mega, Arduino Pro Micro or any other Arduino board. You can also use this waterproof ultrasonic sensor with 3.3V compatible controller boards like Node MCU, ESP8266 Wi-Fi module, ESP32, Raspberry Pi Pico, STM32 and so on. In my upcoming video, I will build an IoT based water level monitoring system. So consider subscribing if you don't want to miss any of my upcoming projects. As this is a getting started video, so I will try my level best to explain all the basic things like for example, the difference between the HC-SR04 ultrasonic sensor and the JSNSR040 waterproof ultrasonic sensor. It's spin out. It's interfacing with the Arduino its programming and practical testing. So without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. HC-SR04 and the waterproof JSN-SR040 are both popular ultrasonic sensors that are commonly used in distance measurement applications. However, there are some differences between them that may make one better choice depending on your specific needs. The HC-SR04 is a low-cost ultrasonic sensor that can measure distance from 2 cm to 4 m with an accuracy of about 3 mm. It has a working voltage range of 5 volts DC and consumes very low power. The HC-SR04 is easy to use, it can be easily interfaced with microcontrollers and can be easily found in the market. The JSN-SR040 on the other hand is a more advanced ultrasonic sensor that has a long sensing range of up to 6 meters and a high accuracy of up to 1 millimeter. It operates at a wider voltage range of 3 to 5 volts DC and has a built-in temperature compensation feature that helps to improve accuracy even in varying temperatures. However, the JSN SR040 is relatively more expensive and may be harder to find in the market. In short, if you need a low-cost ultrasonic sensor with a shorter range and don't require high accuracy, then the HC-SR04 may be a good choice. However, if you need a more advanced ultrasonic sensor with a longer range and higher accuracy and you're willing to spend more then the JSN-SR040 could be a better option. For more technical specifications, features and applications read my article available on electronicclinic.com. Now let's go ahead and take a look at its spin out. It has a total of 4 pins level is 5 volt trigger, echo and ground. Anyway, as usual, I'm using my designed Arduino Nano development board because this board already has an OLED display module and a 5 volt regulated power supply. So this way, I don't need to use extra jumper wires. And moreover, I can power up this project using a 12 volt adopter, a 12 volt battery or even a solar panel. The onboard 5 volt 7805 regulator will take care of the voltage. Let me also tell you that it doesn't matter if you don't have a development board or a 5 volt regulated power supply you can still make this project you can use your laptop as the voltage source to power up the arduino and all the other electronics and once you learn how to use this waterproof ultrasonic sensor then you guys must build yourself a 5 volt regulated power supply 
I have a very detailed video on how to make a 5 volt and 3 amps power supply. You can also use the 705 voltage regulator, but keep in mind it has such a low output current from 500 milliamps to maximum 1 ampere. So if you use 705 voltage regulator, still you will need an external power supply in most of the projects if you are planning on using the GSM module or some small DC motors etc. I have also designed a new Arduino Nano development board in which I am using a 5 volt and 3 amps power supply. So if you are performing experiments using different microcontroller boards then I highly recommend you should make this 5 volt and 3 amps power supply because with 3 amps you can power up most of the sensors and breakout boards. Connect the VCC and ground pins of the waterproof ultrasonic sensor JSNSR040 interface circuit to the Arduino 5 volt and ground pins. Connect the trigger and echo pins to the Arduino Nano pins 2 and 3 respectively. The VCC and ground pins of the I2C supported SSD 1306 OLED display module are connected to the Arduino 33 volt and ground pins. You can also connect the VCC pin to the Arduino 5 volt. The SCL and SD pins of the OLED display module are connected to the Arduino analog pins A5 and A4. A5 is the SCL and A4 is the SDA. Arduino Uno also has the same I2C pins. So that's all about the connections and still if you think you have missed anything then you can follow this circuit diagram. You can download it from the article available on electronicclinic.com. I have added a link in the description. First, let's go ahead and install the required libraries for the SSD1306 OLED display module. If you have been using Ultium Designer for creating schematics and designing your PCBs and you don't know about Ultium 365, then let me tell you about it. Ultium 365 lets you store projects in the cloud with all the documents and components you might need to complete all your tasks. To unlock all of the functionality of Ultium 365, you must first connect to your workspace, a separate environment where all your data exists. After logging into your account, you can access all of the features of the Ultium 365 platform. Let me show you how to create a workspace. Click on the Not Signed In drop down button and click on the Sign In. Click on the Register an Account. It's just a two steps process into your email ID or you can also register with Gmail and Facebook. Once you complete the registration, then come back to Ultium Designer, enter your email ID and password, check the sign in automatically box and click on the sign in button. And your Ultium 365 workspace will activate. Click on manage if you want to change your password, your information and you can also write about your experience and projects. And finally, you can click on the save button. I will share more tips and tricks with you in my upcoming videos. I have added links to the Ultium Designer, Ultium 365 and Octopod, the world's fastest component search engine. Make sure you have the latest version of the Arduino IDE installed on your computer or laptop. Anyway, we are going to install two libraries for the SG1306 or LED display module. For this, go to the sketch menu. Then to include library and click on the manage libraries. Search for the Adafruit GFX and install it. As you can see I have already installed this library. Now search for the Adafruit SD1306 and install it. As you can see, I have already installed this library. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the programming. So this is the code that measures the distance and prints it on the OLED display module. This code is just like the HC-SR04 ultrasonic sensor. So I won't bore you by explaining the same code again and again. For a detailed explanation, you can read my article available on electronicclinic.com and of course you can download it from there. Anyway, I have already uploaded this program and now let's watch the JSN SR040 waterproof ultrasonic sensor and Arduino in action.
support me on patreon for more videos i hope you like today's episode like and share this video with your friends see you in next episode and thanks for watching